19-year-old Althea Bernstein told police these men threw something flammable into her car that set her on fire at or near the State Street intersection. She even went on national television, Good Morning America, to talk about what happened to her. During a news briefing this afternoon, Madison's police chief disputed a protest claim that detectives doubted her story. Now, on a night of protest in June that included an arson fire, statue destruction, and an attack on a state lawmaker, Bernstein said she was in the area and four men were spewing a racial slur to her, set her on fire, and she was able to put it out but was burned. Before 100 people today, a protest leader said Madison police asked the teen to revise her statement and admit she lied. And these white men set her on fire. Set her on fire, imagine. She still doesn't have justice, she's still afraid. Is that an accurate description of what your detectives uh, did? Uh, no, that's inaccurate. I can tell you that we have spent uh, hundreds of hours investigating that case. It remains an open investigation. The protester who made the claim police pressured teen Bernstein to recant her story of being burned will only say she does not speak for the Bernstein family. Now, we have reached out to the Bernstein family spokesperson in the past. We did so again today. We've yet to hear comment. We have also repeatedly asked Madison police to release any video that may show what happened on that night at or near this intersection. And the response repeatedly has been, this is an open investigation and we are not releasing any of that material. Reporting live from State Street, Tony Galley, 27 News.